Additional moves towards the Upton Garden Girls Center becoming the leading catalyst for change for adolescent girls in St. Lucia have taken place. On August 8, 2023, staff of the Educational and Behavioral Change Institution met with a wide cross-section of stakeholders for a strategic review of its functioning and operations. Present at the meeting of minds seeking solutions outside of the box were Ministry of Education officials, social workers, St. Lucia Social Development Fund SSDF personnel, youth representatives and others, along with Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment officials under whose jurisdiction the centre falls. Resident social worker at the New Beginnings Transit Home, Eleanor Monrose Henry, a sister agency that works in tandem with the Upton Gardens Girls Centre, says stakeholder participation is critical to achieve developmental continuity. Basically, my agency works um, closely with the Upton Garden Girls Centre. So it is very important that we are part of this workshop to plan the way forward for our girls and to provide the necessary support that they will need. Recently appointed director Olympia Piper Cools Vitalis says coming out of the exercise will be a practical three to five year comprehensive strategic plan that will guide the institution's operations moving forward. The aim of reviewing our objectives and our strategic plan is to explore where we are at, what are the challenges, and how do we have this phenomenal product at the Upton Gardens Girls Center packaged in a manner that persons in our society would see it as a valuable resource to access for their adolescent females. Along with reviewing the center's diverse academic offerings, other vital areas placed under the microscope as part of the strategic consultation were the income-generating aspect of the center, strengthening family engagement and overall staff development. Center personnel say the old stigma of the institution being a place for wayward girls must also be dispelled. The Upton Gardens Girls Center seeks to empower and support young females ages 12 to 18 years experiencing challenges.